Yo, what up guys, Crabapple7 here, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer analysis video. Today I'll actually be doing two trailers. I am aware that one was uploaded yesterday and another was uploaded two days ago. But I was busy hanging out with some friends that I really only get to see during the summer, so I wasn't really focused enough to make videos. But anyway... Starting off with the one from two days ago, here we have the only Pokemon that was revealed in the trailer, a really awesome looking fire and dragon type known as Turtonator. His ability is Shell Armor, and he has a brand new signature move called Se Shell Trap. Sorry, I almost said Cell there. Basically, at the beginning of a turn, he sets a trap, and then when he's hit with a physical attack, the trap goes off and causes an explosion that deals way more damage to the opponent. And now we will be moving on to the four Pokemon that were revealed in yesterday's trailer. Crab Brawler, a pure fighting type. He's a crab with boxing glove arms. And according to the website, these things are actually delicious. I don't really know how boxing gloves could be delicious, but apparently they are. Sandy Gast and his evolution, Palisand. Both of them are ghost and ground types and have a brand new ability called Water Compaction, which when they get hit with a water type attack, their defense goes up by two, which is quite a lot by today's standards. Now, these guys have an interesting concept. I never thought a sandcastle Pokemon would ever be a thing, but apparently now it is. It's interesting. Well, Beware has a pre-evolution now, and his name is Stuffle. Very similar to Beware, a normal fighting type with the abilities Fluffy and Klutz. Now, this guy is literally a stuffed animal, and I can prove it. Just look at this. What do you see? He has a tag on his butt. It's confirmed. Stuffle is literally a stuffed animal. Well, that's everything that was in the trailers. But before I end off the video, I just want to give a quick update on the which Pokemon game should I do next vote. The two uranium options are now being removed from the voting list. Not because they haven't gotten any votes, but... It's because Pokemon Uranium has removed all the official download links from their website. So now if I wanted to get the game, then I'd have to go to unofficial links, and I just don't want to take that risk. So I can no longer get the game, meaning it's not part of the voting anymore. But the other three, Super Mystery Dungeon, Alpha Sapphire, and Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke, they are all still in the running, and they are currently tied with two votes each. You will be allowed to vote on this video, as well as any episode of Pokemon Red. So, that's all for now. I am Crabapple7, signing off.